I know we all heard terrible things about the dangers involved with making soap. But don't be afraid. Although safety is important when dealing with lye, it shouldn't prevent you from starting if you wish to do so. I'm sure you have heard about wearing safety goggles, gloves, long sleeves and closed toed shoes. You want to be in a room with good ventilation so you don't breathe in the fumes of the lye when mixed with water. But it's not something you should be afraid of. Like with other activities that can be dangerous, you just want to take the right precautions. It is very helpful to have everything prepared on one place, so you don't have to suddenly leave to look for things. If you want, you can make a checklist to help you verify that everything is ready for your first project. The members of my Buy Me A Coffee page will find a checklist that I specifically created for that in the members only area, where they can just print it out and use it. If you are a channel member, you can send me an email so I can get back to you. Most importantly is to have everything at hand, so once you combine the lye solution and the oils, you can move smoothly without interruption and directly pour into your mold. Plan enough time for your first project with no set appointments afterwards, so you avoid being stressed out. It's important to take out all factors that can cause additional stress when making your first soap. Don't try to make a big batch when starting out. Make the smallest possible batch at the beginning, like for example a pound. Interesting fact in any activity is that if you can work something out in a small size, you can always scale it later. But it is important to start with a volume that you can easily control. Also, it is safe not to waste too many ingredients if the soap doesn't turn out okay. Pick an easy recipe at the beginning like a recipe with a slow-moving oil, or a lot of liquid oils, or a single oil recipe, and avoid any additives as they add more complexities. I left a couple of recipes in the description that are good to start with. I know everybody wants to make intricate designs with many colors and maybe soap frosting. I totally get it. But when making your first soap, start simple. Maybe just make a soap without fragrance and without color. Then for the second one you add color to it and for the third one you also add fragrance. For your first fragrances choose a slow moving one that doesn't accelerate or rise. And avoid florals at the beginning. You want to move on a gradient, basically like climbing a stair, step by step. Soap at room temperature when starting out. This will make it easier for you and give you plenty time to work. This way, you get used to the reaction of the soap making process so you can gradually speed up your workflow. When you feel you're running out of time, slow down, focus, don't haste, don't stress out if the soap doesn't turn out okay. That's fine. Don't expect your first soap to be good. Concentrate on achieving a simple soap as a result something that lathers and cleanses. Keep in mind that soap making is a science, but you can also add some artistic touch to it. But with anything artistic, the ideal approach is to have fun creating. And you are literally creating something from scratch. Have fun doing it, embrace the errors, laugh about it, note down the errors, they will help you understand how to proceed and improve in future. And remember, Every single soap you make is literally unique. I hope you find these tips interesting and it helps you getting started. And please let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!